Well, Democratic Alliance uh, Western Cape Premier candidate uh, Alan Windy is launching the party's registration bus at the historic Rucklands Civic Centre in Mitchell's Plain. The Premier uh, will use the bus to travel around the province to help people register to vote. The DA, of course, is the first party to hit the road ahead of the 2024 national and provincial elections. For more on this story, let's cross now to SABC News reporter Mariska Buerta. Mariska, a good morning to you. What are you seeing out there? Uh, tell us about uh, what that registration bus is looking like. Well, good morning to you. The rain is absolutely pouring in Cape Town. You wouldn't say it's spring if you look at the weather, um, uh, but that didn't stop. There's a sea of blue behind the camera. You can't see. There's a huge number of people that uh, pitched up despite the weather. Um, but to talk to us a little bit more about what they're planning to do here, yeah, as you correctly said, the DA is the first major party to get their election campaign going. We're speaking to the provincial leader in the Western Cape, Tashia Simmers. Mr. Simmers, thank you so much for your time. Explain to us what is your bus all about? Well, indeed, we are awaiting the registration bus of our candidate, uh, premier candidate and needs to awaken the spirit and also to start spreading the message across our province as we prepare for a very crucial election. But the first step to go and vote next year is to actually register to vote. But also to focus on our youth, which is why the bus is going to be groovy, sexy, but above all, to spread that message on the importance of registering to vote. A groovy, sexy bus. How do you plan to entice the youth then? Um, a bus is one thing, but how do you actually, you actually get them to come and register? Because that's been an issue throughout all the elections to get the youth involved. Well, I must say in your introduction, you referred to the sea of blue outside awaiting the bus and our premier candidate. But what you would have noticed is a lot of young people because they are seeing as a day in the Western Cape through what we have delivered in the current term and where we are heading towards as the day Western Cape. There's hope. But above all, there's hope through our premier candidate for our young people. But they fully understand and comprehend the message of registering to vote because if you want to have your voice heard, the first and foremost step is to register to vote, to be part of this blue bus, this blue change, because it's going to happen across our Western Cape towards election 2024. So what exactly will they do? What does the registration in, entail on the bus? Is it then officially uh, logged at the IEC if they are registered on the bus? How will it work? Well, indeed, within the bus itself, there are various stations where we will assist young people to register. We are obviously linked to the IEC system. So, yes, you can come along, bring your ID, we'll assist you accessing the IEC's portal so you can register on the spot and also get confirmation that you are registered as a voter to register in the Western Cape and to vote in the crucial election of next year. Um, as it, is it only for young people or can anyone then... Uh join the bus or get on the bus so to speak to to become registered well everybody is welcome they can come those that wish to express their uh, support for our party but also need to express the need to register the bus is there for you so please do come along but also come and greet our premier candidate your premier candidate that will become the premier come election 2024 Obviously, South Africa is going through a tumultuous time um, and there is despondence from the people on the ground with, with everything that's going on. So how do you convince someone to, first of all, to register and secondly, to go cast their vote? Well, most of the time, people that are unregistered ask why they need to register and why they should vote. Well, if you are a voter in the Western Cape, wherever you may live, this is a province that has reinstalled hope, hope in a party that governs for the people that governs with the people, but walks by the people to ensure a better quality of life. And that quality of life is expressed through your vote. And to vote, you need to register. So that is what I think a lot of our young people, but also other individuals who are not registered across our province, are seeing, they are feeling, they are experiencing, because many of us have families in other provinces. And you can clearly see this blue beacon of hope shining like a light amidst even the load shedding that we experienced earlier. But this shows a province can work and a government can work for the people, by the people. And that party is the Democratic Alliance with our Premier candidate, Alan Windy, leading the charge from the front, obviously in his bus. So where will the bus be from today onwards? How often will it be available for re registration? Well, obviously there is a set program which we will communicate as we roll out the bus, literally and figuratively after today. We will communicate the various towns where our premier will be in advance. And yeah, Amal can come, be part of that lekker blauwgees as we build up the momentum of change to the registration weekend, which is the 18th and the 19th of November, is to encourage, obviously, to follow this blue bus of change, which will become a blue tsunami towards the election 2024.
Thank you very much. That was the provincial leader in the Western Cape, Tatia Simmer, speaking to us about uh, the registration bus that they're launching today, also calling it sexy and funky to lure young people in. Of course, that is something that is um, uh, very visible throughout all elections across the country. Um, young people, the youth, the apathy of the youth. And uh, I'm sure as people might approach the bus, there will be many questions. Um, as the DA leader in the province said, they're asking why they should vote when uh, the situation in the country is, is very difficult at the moment. But uh, if I have to look at what I see here today, uh, there's support for this initiative from the DA. And uh, that bus, of course, will be arriving a little bit later. Uh, as the leader said there, uh, the premier candidate, Alan Windy, will be aboard the bus despite the rain. Lots of people here. So we'll be ke keeping you posted uh, as the story unfolds here. Yeah, Mariska Buerta, thank you so much for that update. Of course, she's our reporter in the Western Cape.